Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the Outlet channel. I'm just going to do this little short video because uh, I asked Finn about his uh, Triangle Sighting in the UK some additional questions about how the uh, orbs he saw how they formed into two triangles and I'll just play that in a minute and then I'll talk about some after it's finished as well. So let's see how this goes. I've got a plate from Facebook. Uh, so, here's the first one. Hi, Paul. So, so as I'm driving past the orbs, there's a spike sticking out the right hand side of the lower orb because that one was hovering above the other. So, the bottom one, there was a spike sticking out of it. The spike was getting longer, the spike was the same color as the orb. I think this, the orb was about a bit bigger than a basketball. The spike was maybe a meter long, so longer than the than the entire width of the ball, you know, the orb. I uh, was driving directly past it, watching this spike elongating as it was coming out the side of the orb. I then turned to look at the road to pull over. I, it took me about 15 seconds to pull over. Then I get out of the car, I turn around and I look towards where the orbs were, and now there are two triangles in their place. So to answer your question, the question being, did the triangles form from the orbs, or did they come out of the orbs like a portal? I don't know, because I didn't see the entire process. I think, based on the fact that the spike was elongating out of the orb, I think the orbs were changing into triangles. I think the orbs were changing shape. I don't think a triangle was coming out of the orb because that spike was, was a spike. It looked nothing like a part of a black triangular spaceship. It just looked like a sharp spike. When, the, when I saw the triangles fully formed, hovering over the road, they just looked like triangles. There was nothing spiky on them. So I think the orbs were in the process of changing shape. And I think in that 15 seconds that I had my back to them while I pulled over, I think they finished off the morphing procedure. But that is an assumption. So that's why, even when I say, I often, when I summarize it, my sighting, I say I saw two orbs which apparently changed into two black triangles. I say apparently because I don't know whether they changed into them, Maybe the orbs, maybe during that 15 seconds, the orbs suddenly zipped off up into space and two black triangles came in from a different direction and took their place. I find that highly unlikely and it sounds bizarre, but I can't rule that out because I wasn't watching them while it happened. So I don't know ultimately, but I can make, I can speculate based on what I saw was happening and then what had happened by the time I turned around after not looking at it for about 15 seconds. So ultimately, I don't know, but I think they were changing shape. Now, when you look into previous sightings, there are many cases of UFOs changing shape and orbs changing into saucers and that sort of thing. And also, and also, it's worth remembering that while the you know after this had all happened, and I'm staring at these triangles now crossing the road, they continued to change shape. They, they, got, they went from equilateral triangles to elongated, pointy triangles. So I think what I was witnessing there was the, the latter stages of them um, morphing into their final form. So that's, again, another reason why I think, yes, the orbs were changing shape and they were turning into triangles, and I just missed the most impressive part because I, I couldn't watch because I had to pull the car over. Ah, so that's all he sent me. Uh, it's quite interesting. Um, it's very really similar to other sightings I've heard, uh, but some have said there's been a flash in the sky, and out of a portal comes uh, the pointy nose of the TR-3B, or triangle craft, and zooms off very quickly, uh, like it's come from like a star jump or some something like that, or another dimension. Uh, so. Is it ours? We don't know. Also, uh, we've heard stories from 
other people that said um, they saw a hole opening up in the sky and they could see thousands of UFOs through the hole and that the UFO seemed to uh, go into the hole, a, a classic flying saucer uh, type classic saucer thing, a Mexican hat to want to call it. Uh, this went inside the hole but he said it barely fit in there and it sort of wrapped around it like jelly. Uh, so it's basically like it's going into uh, water but there's actually more uh, solid. So that almost sounds like it's either a, a star jump again and also um, possibly uh, wormhole type technology maybe uh, if you've got enough energy uh, but then again that relies on space time and all that sort of stuff which is yet to be proven but I think you probably can be in space but you can't change time time's always going forward so I think uh, there's going to be some changes in that equation to come uh, so yeah um, Anyone else got sightings out there that can verify what Finn has said about his uh, UK sighting? Uh, post away on the comments. So yeah, uh, how's the site going? Uh, we've got uh, almost 1700 subs going there, uh, which is good, we're six away. Uh, this will help us get more um, recognised by Google, not that we're going to make money from it, just that we're going to get more free exposure hopefully once we get these sub numbers up uh, and also people liking and commenting also helps um yeah and we got something interesting planned from robert this coming saturday on our robert talks uh, series so make sure you're there to check it out and if you can't uh, make sure you watch it offline uh, he's actually gone out in the field to do some investigating on ufo hotspot in the uk and has taken some pictures and talked to some locals so you will see what he has to come uh, produce for us this uh, saturday should be exciting and uh, again thanks for uh, subbing and uh, following me and uh, bring us some more uh, good interesting ufo cases out there and images if you have them and we'll have a look at them uh, bye bye for now I won't play my end credits, I don't think, <laughs> but uh, this is going to be a little short video just to see how it comes out.